Let's pretend I'm a fresh college grad and I want to find out what my investment portfolio might be worth by the time that I retire. Let's say that I'm investing in a Roth IRA and we know that with a Roth IRA, at least right now, the max amount you can contribute per year is $6,000. So we'll put that for annual contribution. And let's say hypothetically that I'm investing my money mostly in the S&P 500 index and that index has historically returned about 7% per year on average. And also, the uh, standard deviation of the returns in the S&P 500 index has typically been around 15%. So this tells us the, uh, the volatility of the movements of the returns of this portfolio. And then we're going to say that uh, I'm retiring in about 40 years. And so that's why you can see that I've dragged this table all the way down to 40 years. Let's say that, hypothetically, we start with $0 in this portfolio. So I'll put my year-end value at time 0 as 0. And then in year 1, we're going to want to start off by finding uh, what might be our return for this year. So we can use an inbuilt uh, Excel formula, which equals norm.inv. Uh, and then we want to select a random distribution, right? Because we're doing this Monte Carlo simulation and we want to randomly distribute based around this mean of 7%, which we lock in this cell by hitting F4 on our keyboards, and the standard deviation of 15%, and I will also lock this cell in. But now we want to find our year-end value in year one. And we can use a formula to find the year-end value of any year, which will just be the $6,000 that we're contributing every year. And we're going to make the assumption that we're putting this $6,000 into our portfolio at the start of the year. So I'm going to lock that cell in by hitting F4. And then I'm also going to take the year-end value of the previous year, which is zero for now. And then I'm going to multiply it by 1 plus the return for that year and hit enter. So that tells me that at the end of year one, this portfolio should be worth approximately $5,902.08. Um, and now we can just drag both of these formulas all the way down. And so now we've got one iteration of a potential 40 year investment. And this tells us that our year end portfolio value is $4,000 or $475,400. But this is just one iteration. So if I hit cell F9 on my keyboard, I can do it again. So, the, oh, that time it was $2,540,000. That is a huge difference. So I can just keep hitting uh, F9 on my keyboard, and I can keep doing more simulations of how this portfolio's value might end. And you can see there's a lot of different potential values with a wide range. But what we're wanting to do with this Monte Carlo simulation is we want to do about... 10,000 iterations and then find the portfolio summary statistics of all 10,000 simulations so we can get a better understanding of how this portfolio might end up at the end of the time period. So what we're going to do is we're going to say that just an iteration zero is going to be equal to that initial year end value. But then we're going to use Excel's inbuilt data table function to force Excel to do this Monte Carmelation, Monte Carlo simulation for us. So we'll select that whole table and then we'll go to data and then uh, what if analysis and then data table. And then all I need to do here is select in this column input cell and I'll just select a blank cell that has nothing in it and I'll hit OK. So we just forced Excel to do 10,000 simulations of what we did in columns A through D of finding that ending portfolio value. So what this tells us is in uh, simulation 9,999, we found the ending portfolio value is 470, or 465,000. In simulation or iteration 10,000, we found this value. Okay, so we've got these 10,000 values. Let's put together some summary statistics. So for median, we're just gonna say equals median. And then we're not gonna use iteration zero, we'll just include one all the way down to 10,000, and I'll hit enter. So there's our median value and then we'll say for mean equals average and then we'll just grab that same range so what i'm doing is i'm just holding control shift and then i'm hitting the down arrow on my keyboard so we find that there's going to be some skew to the right basically there's outlier values that are higher than the median and that's why the mean is showing up as higher than the median and then standard deviation, we'll just say equals standard dev and then dot s. So we're going to say this is a sample and we'll select that same range once again. 
Okay, so that tells us our standard deviation of all of these is just around a million dollars. But now let's get an even better understanding of what this looks like by filling out this percentile table. So let's find what is our fifth percentile value of this entire Monte Carlo simulation. Um, so I'm gonna say equals uh, percentile dot INC. And then I'm gonna select this whole range from one to 10,000. I'm gonna hit F4 because I wanna lock it in. And then I'll do comma and I'll put it on the five percentile and hit enter. So what this tells me is that there's basically a 5% chance that I get a value of $358,000 or less for my ending portfolio value. But there's also a 95% chance approximately that I would get more than $358,000 for my ending portfolio value. Now we can take this formula and copy it and just paste formulas. And now what we're finding here is that um, for the 25th percentile, this would be our portfolio and value. For 75th percentile, this would be our value. And for the 95th percentile, we'd have about $3.2 million. So this is almost the opposite of this, where we say um, there's basically a 5% chance that we could end up with $3.2 million or more dollars at the end of our 40-year uh, investment horizon. And then there's also a 95% chance that we end up with less than about $3.2 million. But what if we want to take a little more detailed look at the actual distribution of all of these portfolio values? So to do that, I'm going to select this value here, and I'm going to do Control shift all the way down, and then I'll go to Insert. And here you can see there's a val or an option called um, Insert Statistics Chart, so I'll select that, and then I'll, I'll just press the Histogram. So let me pull up this histogram because it might give us a little bit better understanding of everything. And I'm gonna change this chart axis so we can see it in uh, currency values. Okay, and let's, let's blow this up too and bold it. So what we're seeing is that our distribution of these values has an extreme skewness all the way to the right. So here is our mode. This is the range of values that has the highest number of portfolio values in it, and then it goes outward to the right. So for this one, we're, I'll look down here and I'll see that it's about between 400,000 and 600,000 is our most likely value. But then we can see by how far this graph goes to the right that there's actually going to be simulations where the portfolio might end up with a value up to around $14 million. So if you'd like to play around with this spreadsheet yourself, you can go and find the automatic download link in the description below. And uh, please let me know if you have any questions on this simulation in the comments. Uh, thank you for watching and I hope to see you on the next video.